We're back on Highway 1 for today's edition of PhotoWalks TV, exploring the Central California coast from Pismo Beach all the way up to Monterey. Today's stop is Morro Bay, the little town with that huge rock. After a slight detour from Highway 1 onto 101, San Luis Obispo brings you back to Highway 1 in Morro Bay with Cayucas, Hearst Castle, Cambria, Big Sur, and Carmel up the road. Now, Morro Bay has just over 10,000 people and a whole lot of sea lions, otters, and many other different types of birds. We'll see them all on our photo walk, which will take us through the waterfront on Embarcadero Street, down to Coleman Park, and that huge Morro Rock. Additionally, one really cool way to see Morro is on the water on an electric boat, which we're going to do today, courtesy of my new friend Bailey from Estero Adventures. But before we get going on the boat, which of course is a great vantage point for photography, let's quickly go over some essential travel photo tips. As always, please start with a charge device, whether that be a camera or a smartphone, a clean lens, and plenty of room for taking photos. If you don't have room on your phone, as you know, Apple or Google will ask you to start deleting. Now, how do I handle this? I subscribe to the Smug Mug service, which is the sponsor of this show. All my photos and many videos are backed up there, giving me the freedom to shoot to my heart's content when I'm out and about. Many people, and this is really important, they think that if they post to social media, they're actually backing up their photos, but that is not true. Sadly, Facebook, Instagram, Shutterfly, and other sites will grind your resolution way down. So if you do reach for it later and try to download it, what you're getting is a super low resolution copy that you'll never be able to print. This is food to think about before your next shoot. Now, on tomorrow and that electric boat ride. Here we go. Some people call them Duffies. I don't know if you call yours Duffies. This is a, a pontoon, actually. A pontoon. All righty. So we're going to meet some animals, go out on the water, take some pictures, have a good time. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Hold on tight. Wow. Graceful. Have you ever right. fallen in? You know what? I've come very close many times. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't called, fallen in yet. Um, I've dropped a few pairs of sunglasses and just... There's some really interesting areas where we can do wildlife over here, um, like the sea lions. If you see one swimming and you're not quite sure what animal it is, you can look at their head. And if they have little ear flaps, then it's a sea lion. If they are absent of ear flaps, it's just a hole in their head, it's a seal. A really great view of all of the local shops on the Embarcadero. You were saying that the rock is smaller than it used to be? It is. So it's about two thirds its original size. Um, it is an extinct volcanic plug. There's a series of, I believe, nine. They were called the Nine Sisters. This is probably one of the most iconic. Um, there are a few more along the central coast, and now it is protected. It is a bird sanctuary. We have tons of amazing birds like that, egret that's flying. Um, I get easily distracted by all of the birds. Okay. I can sit and watch them all day long. And um, what would you say the photo highlights of a water tour are? What can you pick up on the water that you couldn't get on land? Oh, amazing um, opportunities to view the diverse wildlife that's here. Um, we have tons of marine mammals like the sea otter, sea lions that we were just observing, um, and incredible observations of the bird life. And I would throw in a really nice image of the rock with the reflection in the water with oh, the yeah. waves rippling that you're just not going to get out on a dock. Absolutely. Tell everybody what the various ways of them getting out on the water. Uh, you can start with a paddle. You could be paddling yourself. It's hard to photograph at the same time. What are the <laughs> other options? Um, well, you can explore the bay on a stand-up paddle board. You can also go out um, on a kayak, either a solo kayak. If you want to explore by yourself and just really connect to nature, or you can go out with some friends. We have kayaks that can fit up to three people. 
Um, we're on an electric boat now that fits, what, 10, 12? Well, you can probably fit that many. We limit it to about eight adults, um, just so everyone can stay safe. Well, you I, should jump behind the wheel. I, I think you should I, be. Up. Right? And away. And away. Here we go. <laughs> Let's. I wonder how fast we can go. Wow. Let's drive you really crazy. <laughs> Not very Safety fast, first, not very fast at all. Well, you know, with the tide behind us, we're really picking up some speed. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Put... Those are some sea otters. Those, those were a pair of sea otters. Um, over around the northern end of the bay, we saw a sea otter nursery where the females are hanging out. Um, in the kelp bed. And you recommend that people go out on the water when they visit? Oh, absolutely. Because? Yeah, because it gives you a whole different perspective on this area. Yeah. I mean, when else are you going to be able to get that close to an otter? Sure was fun. Uh, yeah, even more fun for me. It's a good way to spend my morning. Okay. Hello. It's not an otter. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. You're welcome. Thanks, for Jeff. This uh, little photo walk, photo boat ride today. That was tons of fun. Alrighty. Now that we're back on land, I suggest you photo walk through the cute downtown area which is full of restaurants, cafes, knickknack shops, and the like. And if you can't find the perfect seashell down in the sand, well, we know a place that has thousands for sale. It's called the Shell Shop. Most folks stroll up and down the Embarcadero and end up at the rock down the paved walkway that's built for pedestrians and cyclists. I suggest that you start on the south end of town at Tidelands Park, continue up the road, and then you have to stop at Morrow Bay Tea Pier one of the great spots for otter sightings. Then you'll continue to the rock. Hey, before we move on, a quick photo tip break. If you'd like to get one of those cool overhead shots of Morrow Bay and environs like you're looking at right now, the place to do that is Black Hill. It's part of the Morrow Bay State Park and it's right next to the golf course. Just drive up the hill, get out of the car and take a short walk over to the trail. Then you've got your shot. I also like the south of town by the Bird Estuary for a great side view of the rocks and the boats. On the day I shot this after the boat ride with Bailey, it was kind of yucky outside, like really overcast, and I wanted to bring out the colors. The best way to do that? HDR. The basic HDR gist is that you're taking three photographs, one overexposed, one under, and one normal, then merging them together in a photo software program like Adobe Lightroom. Finally, when you've got this giant rock and you've got these clouds going up and down and all around, that really calls for a time lapse, don't you think? They're really easy to do. You can shoot them on any type of camera. I did mine on an iPhone. What you're going to need is a tripod with a smartphone attachment and some time. Figure you'll be standing there at least an hour to get 30 seconds to a minute of footage. So remember, the tripod really is mandatory. There's no way you're going to be able to hold the camera steady for five minutes let alone an hour.
Next time on PhotoWalks TV, we continue our Highway 1 journey and we meet up with our old friend Ginger Denunzio to explore the great western seaside town of Cayucas on Highway 1. Please join us and, as always, don't forget to subscribe to PhotoWalks TV.